Hey guys, Bart with Bicycle Rider YouTube, and I am very excited to bring this video together. This is the Marin Alpine Trail E1. Uh, been refreshed for 2023 with a lot of different upgrades. Um, I do own a bicycle shop. We're in my bicycle shop right now. It's called Biloxi Bicycle Works, Biloxi, Mississippi. And we also have an online channel called GovVelo.com. So I, I'm telling you that because I sell a lot of different brand bikes. I'm a specialized dealer. I'm a Marin dealer. Uh, I've got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of brands and I do sell a lot of e-mountain bikes, but it, it, you know, it's hard for me honestly to put together a package that Marin has and beat that value to price point to quality of components that you're getting to rideability. You know, Marin is one of those companies that you know, they were there for the foundation of mountain biking and they have pushed the limits. Their engineers, Sippy and Matt, they ride bikes and, you know, they're, they're like me. I ride bikes with my customers. I ride bikes with my clients. I'm always out on my mountain bike when I'm not here in the shop. And I love the positive feedback people give me on this bike. Um, uh, I, I see people around town on this bike and of course an e-mountain bike is not normally what you ride around town because of the slack geometry, you know, the extra weight, the suspension of a, a full suspension mountain bike to ride in the urban situations. But with the power of the motor, this is a Shimano EP6, the new model EP6. You could ride this bike anywhere. We do a Friday fun ride where everybody shows up from beach cruisers to mountain bikes to road bikes. And those guys that have this bike are very comfortable riding 14 miles urban on this bike, smiling and laughing the whole time, riding with their kids, riding with their families. And then I see them out on the trails with a group on the, on the weekends, killing it on these bikes. Um, once in a while you get a chance to take a mountain bike vacation with your, with your brothers, with your Buddhas and you don't have to go rent a bike. This bike is capable of multiple situations, but let's get back to the roots of it. This is a true full suspension mountain bike. We've got 160 millimeter, 36 uh, millimeter thanks and forks on the front. So this, this uh, Trans 36 by Trans X has really proven itself to be a very rock solid suspension fork for the money. Um, and, and that's where I'm coming in on this bike. It's hard to compare this bike to a $14,000 uh, Turbo Levo, and I just sold one of those. It is a nice bike, but $14,000 compared to, you know, $5,000 basically. And this bike really does a really good job. So we, we talked about the, you know, 160 millimeter front fork. You also have 150 millimeter Rock Shocks uh, Deluxe on the back with a coil. So this is a very, very, once again, a very robust, a very solid fork. Something that rides really, really good. You know, with an e-mountain bike, you don't have to worry about efficiency as much because you do have uh, 85 newton meters of torque help pushing you down the trail. So this is a, you know, this is their multi-link suspension. Sippy has done a fantastic job with the en suspension engineer at Marin. Um, they build a lot of awesome bikes. I ride a rip zone a lot. You know, that's uh, not the e rip zone, but I am going to be testing that one out pretty soon. Um, I spend a lot of time on Marin bikes and they ride really good. Like say I own a bicycle shop so I can ride just about any bike I want. And I spend a lot of time on Marin. One, because Marin meets that value point that my true customers or real people with jobs can afford. Um, uh, you know, as a bike shop owner, I can ride a $14,000 bike if I want. I like getting on the same bikes that my customers are riding, that, that my customers are buying. That way I can know what they're feeling. And I feel a lot of joy when I'm riding this bike. Uh, my customers feel a lot of joy riding this bike. And I get a lot of customers getting a lot of fitness off this bike because they're riding more often. Um, they can ride until their fitness wants to give up and then they can use the power of the motor to push them home and they don't have that, you know, get left out on the trail somewhere. Um, I'm not going to go into every component of this bike. Let me just touch on some of the highlights and I've already talked about the, the 160, 150 suspension, but it has a Dior 11 speed drivetrain so the Shimano Dior clutch derailleur works really good I like an 11 speed 
Uh, 11 speed means you've got a little bit more gaps between the shifts and sometimes you don't have to have your derailleur shifting perfectly. As soon as you get to 12 speed, uh, it makes a difference because the gaps get a little bit shorter. As a bicycle mechanic, I love selling an 11 speed. It's just a very solid, very good shifting drivetrain. And of course it's Shimano. Shimano makes fantastic stuff, including their hydraulic brakes. So I believe these are the MT4200s. It's a four piston hydraulic brake, no frills that just work really good. I've, I've, I've owned these brakes on a lot of different bikes with the four pistons. This thing stops really good and it stops really good in multiple conditions from when it's super hot on the pavement and you're going down the Biloxi Bay Bridge at 30 plus miles an hour and a walker walks in front of you, it stops. If you're out at the trails and uh, of course you've been riding for a couple hours and everything's heated up, um, things are sloppy and sandy and wet, this bike stops. This bike stops anytime you wanna hit the brakes and this bike stops. Um, there's a lot of reach adjustment, a lot of modulation, and it's just smooth and a solid system. Of course, it comes with a Transec dropper post, and you can get a long dropper post the way that they've made this frame. So it's a hydro formed aluminum frame series, uh, good series aluminum. Um, the rake and trail, the numbers on this bike are, are really good. It's got a, um, uh, you know, good, Head tube angle, a good seat tube angle, the bike climbs, the bike performs, the bike jumps. This bike is agile. It's, you know, 50 pound bike. I'm a 150 pound guy, so it's, you know, it's light compared to a lot of bikes, but you're still carrying around 50 pounds, and that's an overweight. I think the bike actually comes in at like 45 something, but once you throw pedals and a few things on this bike, let's just say 50 pounds. This bike rides really agile for 50 pounds, and with 50 pounds, you get a good stock wheel set. So this is a mullet system. It's a 20, 29 and a 27 and a half, and that just works really good for aggressive mountain biking. Uh, really good sized tires, and they do come standard with Cush Core, so you don't have to worry about flats and collapsing your rims. Um, Cush Core is great and it comes stock on this bike. I also really like the very small form factor of the Shimano controller up here. So it just tells you your basics. It doesn't have a big screen telling you everything you need. What it does is just, just tells you just what you need and it keeps everything hidden and, and, and tight. I like the integrated frame, the integrated battery, and of course Shimano EP6 has been redone so it's a very smooth very robust um, great motor and it's hooked to a 630 watt hour battery high high capacity battery so you can ride this bike for a long time out on the trails without having to worry about it dying um, we ride like i said a lot of urban and we don't we charge these things up and we ride all over town we ride all night long and we don't run out of battery so I'm not saying you can't i'm just saying in normal functionality it's a good power to weight to battery capacity way show that just makes this bike actually ride so much better than you know a lot of a lot of the other bikes I sell in my shop. I really like the Marin brand. Um, it's what I ride. It's what I recommend. And for the price, I don't think you can beat the Marin Alpine Trail E1. The E2 is a step up, and it does have some Shimano XT components on it. Um, if you've got the money, you know, buy that bike. It's, it's got a little bit different suspension set up and it's really robust. It's really cool. But if five grand is your, you know, that's where your, your point is, just know you can spend $5,000, walk away with an awesome bike that treats you really well. And Marin is a solid company to back you up if we have any problems. Like I said, if you don't have a Marin dealer, I'm here in Biloxi at Biloxi Bicycle Works. We ride these bikes. And I also have an online store called GovVelo. So if you buy this bike from GovVelo, believe me, we're packing it. There's a bunch of, all my employees are mountain bikers. We care about what we're doing and we care about you. And we'll probably see you out there riding the trails. We sell bikes all over the country and people come here to ride bikes with us. We always love when our customers show up because our customers show up happy. Um, you never know what's going to happen in shipping, but we do really take some care to custom 
pack these bikes and custom foam and custom boxing and we build them we build all these bikes ourselves and we test ride them so if you see a little dirt on your tire just know we rode your bike um we made sure it shifted good we made sure your wheels came from the factory straight we straighten your rotors we do um, you know we're mountain bikers we're not we know we're not amazon not saying that anything bad about amazon but we're a group of guys and gals who ride bikes and care about our customers um i'm making this video not so you buy a bike from me i'm really just trying to show off the marin alpine trail e1 because it is a really cool friggin bike for the money um and it gets a lot of people riding i see a lot of my friends that i wouldn't see out on the hey well hey all uh you can tell this wasn't a, a really a planned video i just grabbed the video camera as i was walking out the door for the night after a long day of building these bikes and and talking about these bikes and my camera died my video camera so i grabbed my gopro real quick so i can finish this video and that's what my videos are we're we're not i don't have things planned i didn't comb my hair I've been working, actually working on these bikes all day. We sold several of these on Govello, so we're test riding, packing, building, making sure they're, you know, shipped out correctly. And I'm just so excited about this bike before I left the door for the day. I figured I would, you know, shoot a little video of this bike. So maybe now that I got the GoPro, I can just kind of go over. I mean, I love the color of this bike. It's got this cool green to it. Uh, I like the fade and it kind of has this little mountain, mountainish. I don't know, it's, you know, guys are with colors, but it is a cool looking bike. And I do like the way, of course, it's a high quality aluminum frame. And Marin does a, you know, they got a cool badge with a bear because of the Marin County, California. Just a really, really cool company, really cool bike. Hey, while I'm here and I got the GoPro, let me walk you around the shop a little bit. Here's a, here's one of our mountain bike rooms. Of course, I've got a, you know, Marin, DSX sitting right up here. This is the Marin Alpine Trail, so this is not the E model. This bike is so good, it comes in, Alpine Trail comes in many, many different forms, and here is a blast to ride. So, um, if you guys want, I'll do a video on this, and it's, I love the paint job on this bike. It's, it's awesome. Of course, well, the bike that I ride a lot is the, um, you know, this is the Marin Rift Zone. This is a, this is a bang up bike for the money, 2,400 bucks. No, uh, they for the Groms. You get the Marin Rip Zone Junior. Uh, over here is really cool. I love the Marin Rip Zone Carbon. Um, of course, this is not staged. I wasn't planning on bringing you guys around here. Actually, actually half the shop is closed up and dark. Everybody else is gone. Um, that you know, this is the Pine Mountain. So the Pine Mountain is. I love the paint job on this bike, but it's a it's a cool. It's a cool bike, so. Anyway, here at Biloxi Bicycle Works, we have an awesome time, and like I said, this, this is not a planned video on the Marin Alpine Trail E1, but anyway, I'm glad the, I'm glad the camera died, the video camera, because now I can actually walk you guys around a little bit. Um, we have a blast here at Biloxi Bicycle Works, and we are real riders who ride the bikes that we sell to our customers, and you know, they turn into friends, and uh, if you buy a bike from us, believe me, you're welcome to ride anytime and you don't have to buy anything from us. Just, you know, stop by the shop and ride bikes with us. Hit me up a little bit so you know, I'm busy a lot during the day, but if I know you guys are coming, I'll, I'll make time to either go hit the trails or the gravel roads or the road, whatever you guys want to ride. I ride it all. Marin Alpine Trail E1 on the Bicycle Rider YouTube channel. If you like what we do, you know, like and subscribe. That just, you know, lets YouTube know you guys are watching. And I'll keep making these videos. We'll get we'll get some real ride video of the Alpine Trail E1. But any questions, we ride these bikes, we sell these bikes, and I'm glad to help answer questions. If you do have a Marin dealer, you know, definitely visit your Marin dealer, buy from them, support your local bike shop. And if you don't, think about buying from me. And just think about getting on bikes. You know, don't worry about who you buy it from. Uh, you know, get on this thing, buy one of these things, ride with your friends, ride with your family. This thing will make you want to go ride your bike after work when you're tired. Um, I, 8.30 at night, I've been working in the bike shop all day and I'm going to ride one of these things home tonight and I don't get to ride through the mountains or some single track. I'm going to be riding through the urban territories, up and over the Biloxi Bridge and through Ocean Springs to get to my house tonight. My van's parked right outside the shop, but 
I love riding these bikes so much, I'm gonna take one of these, I'm gonna put a helmet light and I'm gonna take one of these things home tonight. So if you want any advice from someone who actually rides the Marin Alpine Trail, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the knowledge I've got on it. And, and so far my, my feedback on this bike is, is really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm still testing out the, you know, the X-Fusion front suspension, but so far it's done everything I've asked it to do. And it's helped keep this price you know price of this bike down so any questions on this fork um we've been pushing it hard like i said i don't have a whole lot of history with with this fork but you know i am a bike mechanic and i, I sell these bikes we don't get warranty issues on them i haven't had any customers come back and complain about them um i myself don't have any problems with it and i've launched this bike off of a lot of a lot of things that i, I probably wouldn't have launched a lot of E mountain bikes off of it's just I feel comfortable on this bike this bike really does give me the confidence to you know maybe push a little bit harder than than I normally would um, on a on an e-bike at the price point at you know five thousand dollars on you know when I get on a fourteen thousand dollar bike I hate to say it but I, I ride it a little bit more gingerly I get on a five thousand dollars and five thousand is still a wad of cash let me not disregard five grand but I feel a whole lot just more at ease riding this bike. Um, Marin makes a solid bike. They've done a great job with the Marin, you know, Alpine Trail E1. And uh, I said it before, I'll say it again. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'm an open book. I'll be glad to tell you all about this bike. Thank you from Bicycle Rider YouTube for hanging with my crazy style. Totally raw, unscripted, unplanned, but coming from the heart.